Welcome back. How did last night go? How was your dinner? Did you set the table, turn off the TV and put some groovy music on? Well, I hope you did. And seeing the photos that you guys sent in, it looked amazing. So well done. So far, you were doing great. So things are really starting to get going now and there was great action yesterday. I loved seeing what you were up to and so now we're ready for day two. So once again, you should have chosen a couple of recipes to choose from to cook from my book for your family today. It seems cottage pie was really, really popular, but you guys can try new things too. I can tell you that the salad on page 42 of my book is one of my favorites and that the nice new seasoned potatoes are around this time, so right now, it's a goodie. Now, while we do have lots of prizes, thanks to Crayola, Bosch, Five Plus A Day, Stevens, Brita and Hoyts, not everyone will win one. And that's life. I say, what you put into something, you'll get out. So, if you want to be in to win, you've got to send us in what you're doing. But have a look at all these prizes and look at all these movie passes up for grabs, so make sure you're getting in to win. They're cluttering up my office, so I need to send them out to you. But all the details are down the page, so just keep scrolling down, keep, keep scrolling down, and you'll see why. Making a movie, the five plus a day movie challenge. Okay, today's challenge is for those of you who can make a little movie, which shows you having fun with fruit or vegetables. It doesn't have to be flash, it just has to be fun. So, show us a bit of the action of you cooking your dinner in your kitchen. And remember, movie passes for the movie making. This could turn you into a bit of a cooking star. Now use a phone or camera to get the video or photos, or a mix, and string together a little movie. My little brother taught me how to use Movie Maker when he was about eight, so it's not that hard. Slap some words on, a bit of music if you're up to it, but keep it short and snappy. We're not after a full length movie here, just a minute or two would be great. Now if a movie seems a bit hard, we still want you to do what you can. So maybe you just take a series of photos and add some captions and put them in a PowerPoint presentation. Or if you were really struggling, you can just paste them all into a Word document. Either way, we really want to see what you were doing. Foodie tip of the day. Fruit and vegetables are loaded with nutrients that are good for you, so let rip. This is the only stuff you can eat as much as you want, when you want. Now this is where my light bulb story comes in. You don't need to know exactly what's in these or what each little micronutrient does, so let's not get bogged down by the detail. Leave that to the experts. All you need to know is that if it grows on a plant, it is good. And the less processed it is, the better. And while we're talking about fruit and vegetables, here's something to know. Your hand is a reminder of how much to eat. For every finger, you need to have at least one serve of fruit and vegetables. And one serve is about a handful. So if you're feeling hungry, do a quick bit of maths and see if you have reached, or are going to reach, your five plus a day total. If you're a bit light, head to the fruit bowl. Research and report, stuff about labels. Now label reading can seem a bit boring, but it's really important you need to know what you are eating. As I said, you don't need to get hung up on the details. But if there are two similar foods that taste pretty much the same, and one is a lot better for you, it's a no-brainer which one you should choose. There's a label on the back of most foods which tell you what's in it, and they can be a bit confusing, but you may be really surprised once you start to compare foods. Number one, ingredients are listed in weight order. So the first ingredient on the list will be the main part of the food. Get nervous if the first ingredient listed is sugar or fat. Number two, compare foods you need to consider per 100 grams. This also gives you the percentage, e.g. a food with 2.5 grams of fat 
will have 2.5% of fat. So where you have two similar products and one has 5.5% of fat and the other has 10.5% of fat, it's a no-brainer. Number three, for fat and sodium, that's salt, go for the smallest number. And number four, if you want more information on labels, check out page 11 of my book which tells you all about them. How long can you go? Okay, grab an apple and see how long you can peel without breaking it. This is quite a skill. Eat the peel. A lot of good stuff in the apple is just in or under the skin, so you don't want to throw away the good stuff. And don't waste the apple either. You can make a stewed apple, which is awesome to go with your cereal and a great way to start the day. I put more instructions on that further down the page. If you don't have any apples, don't fear, you could also use the peel of a potato or pear. Okay you guys, you will have worked out by now that I don't want any accidents. In fact, this one is easy to forget. Don't put sharp knives in a sink of soapy water. You can't see where they are and the next person could reach in and cut themselves. Which is a dirty trick, so don't do it. Hey, and while I'm on knives, when you are loading the dishwasher, put the knife blade downwards in the cutlery basket. Two quick potato tips to always remember. A full tummy is only a potato away. And if you can bake a potato, you can make a meal. So no matter where you are or what you are doing, a potato will always look after you. This wraps up day two. So check out the challenges. I look forward to seeing your food jokes. In fact, life is too short not to laugh. So test if they're good enough on a friend or two, and if they smile or laugh, then they're good enough to send in. I know you'll have fun with the apple peeling, and you'll enjoy eating either the raw apple or stewing them. You might be amazed in the research and report challenge, or what you find out by looking at labels, and keep relaxed about the movie. We're not after anything up to Peter Jackson standards, but keep them fun and interesting. You've seen my first few movies and you've seen how good they are. So this week's all about having fun, so make sure you have fun today and keep cooking. A big thank you to our fabulous sponsors, Bosch, 5 Plus A Day and Potatoes New Zealand.